I give you a new commandment, that you love one another just as I have loved you. You also should love one another. Words from John chapter 13, verse 34. As we begin our fifth in the series of Lent Thoughts, this week focusing on the theme of compassion or our actions to care for one another. Let's begin with the collect for this fourth week of Lent. God of love, passionate and strong, tender and careful, watch over us and hold us all the days of our life. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. In Lent our thoughts often turn to our actions, how we care for others and care for our society around us, how we show love for one another as Jesus commanded us to do. Our bishops and our diocese have prepared a leaflet that's been around for a while now and shaped by God every day. And in this, Bishop Martin says, Jesus taught his followers that nothing was more important than loving God and loving our neighbour as ourself. God's kingdom of justice and joy involves simple personal acts of kindness, as well as organised Christian communities, helping people in response to issues and needs. We all have opportunities every day to show kindness to people around us. Every act of Christian kindness plants a seed, something which can grow into a mighty tree. This is a picture of God's kingdom. Words reminding us of the importance of those simple acts of kindness and Christian love. Let me read for you our Bible passages for this week. The first comes from the prophet Micah. He has told you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? But to do justice, and to love kindness, and to walk humbly with your God. And second from Matthew 25. Verses 37 to 40. Then the righteous will answer him, Lord, when was it that we saw you hungry and gave you food, or thirsty and gave you something to drink? And when was it that we saw you a stranger and welcomed you, or naked and gave you clothing? And when was it that we saw you sick or in prison and visited you? And the king will answer them, Truly I tell you, just as you did it to one of the least of these who are members of my family, you did it to me. Words that I have often regarded as a strong guide and steer in my faith. To feed the hungry, to give thirsty something to drink, to welcome the stranger to clothe the naked. This is the call of all of us as Christians, to love our neighbours as ourselves, to demonstrate our faith through our love for one another. Our words for reflection this week come from the hermit Peter Cowley. This is what he wrote. People like to present Jesus as the model for Christian action by showing he, showing he was so uncompromisingly available to all men. They often fail to realise that he was a, only able to be open to all men because he was first open to God. It was only because he had exposed himself without restraint to God's love that he was able to be filled with the fullness that he could communicate to others. Without the hidden years, the desert, the lonely garden or the inner room, there would be no compassion for the needy, no love for the loveless, no healing for the sick. To follow him doesn't mean that we should try and copy him as an artist copies a model. 
It does not mean that we should merely imitate the outward manifestation of the inner light that burned in him. It means that we must expose ourselves to that same light that it may set us afire to. If we first seek the kingdom of God, then everything else will fall into place. All this will be possible, not just by the power of our love, but because another will live in us and love with and through us. So Peter Calvi there reminds us that our love for one another, our love for our neighbours, our acts of kindness and compassion are deeply rooted in the love that God has for each and every one of us. Jesus Christ is our inspiration and our model, but above all, our love for one another flows from the love that Jesus has for us first. As Jesus says, love one another as I have loved you. So I'll share just a few words of wisdom. First from the writer Leonardo Boff. The eternal destiny of human beings will be measured by how much or how little solidarity we have displayed with the hungry, the thirsty, the naked and the oppressed. In the end, we will be judged in terms of love. And some wonderful words from St Mother Teresa of Calcutta that reminds us how powerful love is. Not all of us can do great things, but we can do small things with great love. As always, her words are very wise. And so let us finish with a prayer. And this one comes from the wonderfully named Canaan Banana. Open my eyes that they may see the deepest needs of people. Move my hands that they may feed the hungry. Touch my heart that it may bring warmth to the despairing. Teach me generosity that welcomes strangers. Let me share my possessions to clothe the naked. Give me care that strengthens the sick. Make me share in the quest to set the prisoner free. In sharing our anxieties and our love, our poverty and prosperity, we partake of your divine presence. Amen. And so as we continue our journey through Lent, I encourage you to think of how you show love to one another. The acts of kindness and compassion that reach out in Christ's name and following his example to all those around us. And I continue, as always, to pray that God may bless you during this season of Lent.